Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone. A warm welcome back. I hope you're enjoying your Friday afternoon with us. With Winter Home being in full swing at the moment on Afternoon Express, we're making ourselves experts on estate living. And over the course of the series, we'll explore various aspects related to buying and living on estates. Today, we discuss the different types of estates available in South Africa and how to choose the right type of estate for you. Welcome to our loft. It's good to have you. Nice to see you, Daniela. So let's talk a bit about the pros and cons of living estates because I think everyone's very excited about estates. Why is there such a drive to living on estates in the country? I think fundamentally the, the drive has come from the need for security. You know, security uh. is a buyer's number one priority when they're looking now in South mm. Africa. And so this demand of getting onto gated estates has increased dramatically. Mm. Um, and they're all looking for security and then the lifestyle that the estate can give. Yeah. So let's talk about some of the other pros. I mean, you've mentioned sort of um, that, that security is a big one of those. What are the other pros yeah. of choosing estate living over sort of plot? Let me start with security again, because I just want to stress how important mm. it is. And I mean, these estates, a lot of them are spending a lot of money. They're spending millions and millions of rand on securing mm. the estate. You know, that's the perimeter fencing, it's the entry in and out of the estate, and it's the guards that go around. So when you drive into the estate, you literally feel like you can just breathe a huge sigh of relief, you've arrived home into this secure lifestyle. And it gives you peace of mind for you and yeah. your family. Okay. Uh, and the things that spin off from that are so important. It's the kids playing in the streets, walking to their neighbor's houses without so much concern as you would have, you know, outside of an estate. Mm -hmm. So you can't stress enough how important that sense of security and the need mm. for that is. Yeah, without trying to sound contrived, I guess what we're also trying to do is, is explain all aspects to what estate living is. I mean, sure. you always feel like you're being sold something. People are like, you must go live on estates, must go live on estates while they're a big trend. But are there any cons that we should be aware of? Should we really consider really consider this decision? Yeah, I think so. And I think the big con is the, the loss of absolute freedom. Mm. You know, when you're moving into an environment, you're kind of moving into a community. And, and a community is a group of people with the same sets of values and, and, okay. and beliefs, etc. But when you move into to a suburb or an estate, you've got to abide by the laws. You know, yeah. if you're putting a thousand homes into one area and they've all got to abide by the same rules and guidelines, people mm. have to understand that you're buying into a set of rules mm. as well as the lifestyle. Okay. And you, you can't say once you transgress the rules down the line that you didn't know. You know, when you're signing these documents, when you're mm. buying the property, you sometimes forget what you're signing into. Yeah. I'm so protective of our viewers because, I mean, one of them is going to get a chance to win a home on an estate. And I think mm. they're all looking to figure out and understand, like me too, understand why I should go and invest in those spaces. So even if I don't want a home, why should I start investing in property in, in estates? Because I think it is such, a, like you said, an exciting and growing yeah. space. Yeah. What final words of advice do you think you have for, for viewers who are looking to invest in these spaces? I mean, because there's so much that you don't know. I mean, yeah. how do you go about doing this process? Well, Remember, most buyers buy on emotion. They buy on emotion, they fall in love with their property or an, an estate, and then they're justified with fact mm. and logic afterwards. So I think it's just very, very important then before you make that final decision, when you're going to be spending millions and millions of rands, when choosing an estate, choose the estate that's right for you. Mm. Choose the estate that's going to give you the lifestyle you're looking for with all the amenities and the extras that come with it. But understand what you're signing, understand what you're buying into, because once you buy in, you've agreed to accept mm. all the rules that the estate has in place. Mm. Being in my position, I've had a huge privilege of being able to travel around to some of the estates and see what they've got on offer. And it really is exciting to see that they are not all exactly the same. Some of them offer a lot of lifestyle, some of them offer a lot of security, and they're all trying to find their own sort of niche. Um, so in terms of finding the right estate for ourselves, I mean, are there different kinds of estates? Yeah, and I think the, the big thing is location. So you know, are you going to have a certain number of estates in the location that you want to live? For example, if you're living in Durban, you, you only got a handful of estates that you can find without traveling too far. Mm. Um, nobody really wants to commute too far to and from yeah. work. Um, so in terms of the type of lifestyle you're looking for, absolutely, you can get golf estates, retirement estates, eco estates. Mm. There's, a, there's a range. Um, you know, for some people, it's just an estate where you can go and live in an area where you have space to walk after work mm. and there's walking trails. So there's a variety of estates and you've got to find the one that's going to suit the lifestyle that you're looking mm. for. Pique my interest here. Help mm. me understand why estates are such a big thing in South Africa at the moment. Why are they booming at the moment? Well, I think A, security. So you know that South Africa, unfortunately, okay. we live in an environment where crime is, is, is mm. out there. Mm. Um, it's something that we have to, we have to live with. Uh, but what typically happens is when you have an estate that is fixed on supply, mm. so you can only fit so many homes into an estate. Once the building's done, once the supply is fixed, as soon as the demand goes up, your prices will go up. Ah. So it's a great long-term investment. If people want to get into that estate, your investment when you buy your house in that estate 
over the long term, you're going to get good returns. Mm. Lovely. Okay, so it is really worth us looking into estates. I mean, consider always the documentation. Make sure you know what the lifestyle is about, what you're allowed to do, not allowed to do with your homes as you yeah. go in the process. And potentially some of those people might be very different to who you are as an individual. So choose an estate that really suits you as, as a person. Spot on. Great advice. Well Thanks very much. Pleasure. All right, so remember that this season of Winner Home, you stand a chance of winning a beautiful apartment on the Eye of Africa estate. All you have to do is log on to privateproperty.co.za and answer an easy question. We'll be right back after this.